Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana, and today we are playing the first part of The Sims 4 Seasons. Hi, if you're new to my channel, my name is Nana. I am your friendly neighbor that talks way too much and way too fast. She's having a nice and long lay in. She is feeling really under the weather, you know, make some bad pun. Many things happening right now while I'm just trying to talk and cutting for me guys. But I guess we'll just get to know her through the entire let's play. And as we go on, you'll get to know her more and more about who she is, what she wants, her likes, her dislikes, her her naughty story might be a little all over the place i'm not sure where to start i think that we all have that with first parts it's something to the calendar that i will show in a second and bear with me this will be a little laggy not because of my game or anything um in well actually it is the game but on my computer i can't really help it the patch the update the game it's really buggy I have to bear with it for a little bit until the team brings out a fix but for now we don't really have much choice uh, so this is interesting. Okay, so we have a new tab um, in our, I guess, uh, in buy mode, and that is holiday items. Now, I want to show you guys something, because I don't really want to do this quite yet. I kind of want to get into that uh, in a little bit, but I want to show you the calendar first. Also, on a note, I did add events, but the event calendar uh, or the event section of the calendar is currently really bugged. I'm not the first person who has this problem, so I'm sorry, I can't really make use of it very much. I did, however, manage to add a holiday. Uh, this is our calendar, I'm sure it's nothing new, you've probably seen a hundred of them. I bet, well, this is the calendar, okay. So, one of the things that is upcoming really soon is the winter holiday. So I added this because I felt like we needed something that just kind of defined the start of the winter. At least for me here in the Netherlands, uh, when winter is coming, you kind of know like winter break is coming and I wanted something to kind of define that, like a day off on a Saturday where everyone just kind of gets in the festive spirit, decorates their houses, their flats, their balconies, at least where I live, people decorate their balconies. Um, if you go a little further, I'm sure people decorate their houses they wanted something that kind of screamed this is the day everyone kind of makes their house look pretty and it gives us a reason to really test out uh the um you know on their system cool because it shows you the weather and i let's see for today so there's gonna be snow and right now you guys can probably tell it is started to snow or it has started to snow there's much snow yet and i know a lot of you guys are playing on like the country like the house with the big garden and all that but you know cassie really would love that she would love to move however she's not at that stage yet she is not ready to buy a house and settle i guess i think in her mind getting a house and buying a house like a physical house which you don't have to rent i think that she probably kind of compares it to settling down and starting a family i think maybe oh gosh Oh my god, oh, I thought he died. Get up, finally get rid of the day. And um, as you can see, she's heartbroken. Oh my god, what could be the juicy details behind this? Cassie met Salem or Salim, however you want to call it. Uh, I've been calling him Salem because it reminded me of Sabrina the Teenage Witch, and I just really like that. Like the name Salem. It reminds me of the cat, and I love the cat. Okay. Looks like Cassie decided to clean uh, up first, so I might as well get her to go to the bathroom and then continue on her food. It looks like food is not the first priority. I make food when my entire apartment smells like poop. Nice, long, good pee, then make myself some food. Everything is great. Uh, I should do a little. So it's been a few months that Cassie has finally moved out on her own. Savannah is her best friend, and they used to live together at Savannah's apartment until Savannah actually purchased an apartment for herself, and now Cassie kind of had to start making her own life. But Cassie finally decided, hey, I'm mature, I'm an adult, I'm gonna go and move out on my own. So she did. I love it so much. We have actually too much space, but I'll do like a quick, a little quick introduction, a little quick, whatever. But um, we have like an ornament here. And then this table is also from um, Seasons as well as this, this, and um, this, the umbrella rack. Those things are from Seasons. The rest is just a mingle of um, different kind of things as well as this 
thermometer. Little room for Betty. As you see, she's still growing up, scratching the walls. Fun, fun. Kitties are so much fun. Her um, a little recreation station, whatever, or her keyboard is, her computer, and then some um, some workout gear because Savannah. Savannah got Cassie into working out. Like, working out is such an important thing in Cassie's life. You wouldn't say it, but this girl used to be so flipping lazy and she didn't care at all about her appearance and about working out. Looking ripped as look healthy and being a role model to other girls is just something that's really, really, um, really. It's a big passion of Cassie. Cassie is currently in the singer career. Now, she is just starting out. She used to have a career in the social media, which is where her biggest influence came from. But right now, she um, she dropped it all off and said, like, I don't want to do it anymore. I don't, I don't care. I don't want to be in the spotlights for something that is not me. So that's why she became a singer. She's an amazing voice. I know she's going to do great things with that. Where's Betty? Betty, mama needs a little hug. Talk a little about the heartbreak of Cassie. So Cassie used to date Salem, like I said, and I don't think I continued the story. This is really something who wants to accomplish big things in life. And she wants to accomplish a lot of things for herself before she settles down because she's afraid that um, settling down will kind of hold her back in a way. Last summer, Salem actually proposed her and he told her that he wanted to marry her and live together and that she was everything he could ever dream of. And such, so sweet, super, super sweet. But Savannah warned him, like, Cassie is not going to say yes. Cassie's not ready yet. He didn't listen. And in the end, what happened is that Cassie did say no and Salem could not... Salem could not bear the heartbreak of the no. The no came so hard. It hit him so hard straight in his face. Um, that he pretty much said, you know what, like, like, fine, whatever, like, let's not date, let's not date at all, I'm just gonna find someone who wants to marry me, like, you know, like, the kind of thing someone says when they're really mad, but they don't really mean it, it's more like, I'm mad because I'm hurt, you know, because you did something wrong, ooh, ooh, to that in a second, but I'll have her look outside the window, I know we can do that, I know we can do that in our last apartment, but maybe this apartment, no, this apartment doesn't allow it, oh, wow, I'll have Cassie um, resume one of her songs um, for a little bit as she has been spending so much time indoors and learning new instruments is kind of what keeps her busy. Writing new songs is also one of her biggest passions and it keeps her connected to the outside world because my god, she has not seen the daylight in so long. She pretty much stayed at home the entirety of the last month. just kind of confused you know she at one point is like really happy she's independent she's doing all these great things for herself but at the same time it's like i feel lost maybe it's the holiday seasons cassie comes from kind of a broken home your mom's just remind her so much of the family time oh my god betty of the times that she cannot spend with her family or a partner or friends savannah this year is out with her dad and her best friend Miko has three kids she has to look after, so it's it's, it's understandable that she is. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> it's understand. It's it's really understandable that she's kind of alone for this winter, and it's making her really lonely. She's never been alone in an apartment before. I know she has Betty, but before this, she had pretty much lived for over ten years with Savannah, pretty much her entire young adulthood, I guess. Like her entire babiness, her entire baby self. Oh my gosh, I think she's cold. Chilled. Oh gosh, she is cold. Cassie is very frugal, but for now I'm going to turn the temperature up just a little bit. Just for her not to die while I'm at the, you know, that would be nice. Because um, we don't like dying. Mm -mm. Really all over the place in this part, so excuse me. Um, I just kind of have to get everything on. Neat and tidy. Oh, we have work. Oh, that's right. We work at 6 p.m. Oh, right. I forgot we have work late these days. Uh, oh, gosh. Okay. Bottom line, I think the peace and quiet that she has... Go away. I think the peace and quiet that she has these days is kind of what's making her feel the way that she is. She's never been alone like this, and she's never really had 
to experience being alone. She came from a broken family and as soon as she left her home, she pretty much has always been with Savannah and um, now that she's actually like on her own, yeah, I think it's kind of getting to her and this is why she's feeling a little off, a little less like her usual self, which Cassie is such a loner and she loves being alone, but I think at the moment, at this time, I don't know, I think that the holiday spirits and everything going on is just kind of making her feel the way that she's doing. And normally she would not, I, I swear to you, she would not call in sick. But she's not feeling herself today. It's been a while that she's woken up with this heartbreak. And I think taking a day off and calling in fake sick, I mean, who wouldn't believe it? I mean, come on, it's snowing. Who wouldn't believe that, you know, she has, she has a cold, she's sick, whatever. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, do you see this? No, no, I just I just want to Okay, I love this. There's like frost on the windows and honestly, like <laughs> I love it. I am in for that. I'm going to have her clean up this just a little bit. She's very neat. Cassie does not like like mess whatsoever. Just ugh organization is the key now before i go ahead and um i don't know talk your ears up because as you know mm, 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 mm. see cassie's just by herself she needs to just get back on track find what makes her happy and kind of forget about everything in her life i think that she just has to go and give her past a place and i think being by yourself is the best way to give your past a place. It's going to take a little bit for her to get used to this feeling. So she's going to be a little bit soppy, a little bit tired, a little bit lazy. Just just, just all these different things. But it's okay because she needs to go through it. Now, actually, for some le um, for some gameplay, uh, I see some new interactions with the plants. It actually looks like we can sell everything for 50 bucks. Now, I'm not sure if it actually sells the plant as well or just the strawberries but i love this because it's so okay that's 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 really great that's really great like i don't want to you know sit here and talk about a plant for six years because i could really do that but i love this excuse me it's just that's great i love it i love that they made it really i love that they made it a lot easier to do the planting because honestly oh now cassie you should know about cassie that she's passionate about plants and I don't just want to go ahead and make her, you know, into this flower lady that sells flowers in her spare time. But I do think that she's in this stage where she's trying to find herself, as I said before, and experimenting with a lot of things. Oh, so we got a new skill, the flower arranging skill. Well, it will, will allow her to make flower on... Ooh, arrangement on the table. I think she should be really good at this. Let's take a look at her traits, by the way. So she has one for flower, 10 for gardening, and 10 for herbalism. It's great. She's super great. Oh, Betty. Oh, Betty is so cute. I love Betty. Oh my god. Let me, let me just zoom in on her. Isn't she the cutest? Oh my god. She is adorable. Now, one fact about us, we are actually not cat ladies. No. And a lot of you guys last season said, hey, you should get Cassie a dog. I think she'll be perfect for a dog. I just want to say something about that. Um, I think dogs, at least here, dogs are easier to have uh, when you're in a house, when you have a lot of space for, you know, the dog to run and all of that. And I don't think I have the space in this apartment. I mean, yeah, it looks like I have space, but you have to let the dog out and let it run and everything. And I don't want to do that in an apartment. I'm just someone who really just loves having cats in an apartment and not a dog. I feel like a dog deserves a garden and, uh, and we don't have that. So there you go. <laughs> we won't have a dog until we move out. And we definitely are working hard towards getting our dream house, which is a house just somewhere in Oasis Springs. That's like our favorite place. But um, for now, I guess not. It looks like she's already feeling a little better. Ooh, okay. We can sell at. Ooh, ooh. Um, let's do, is there like a winter phase we can do? Oh, wait, 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 I think so. A winter fest phase. Oh my god, that's a mouth. Ooh, can we, ooh, okay. Um, why don't we, can we like put that, let's put that over here. Ooh, that's cute, I love that. <laughs> wait, we can change the phase? Okay, that's interesting. So, winter, wait, so if I'm... Oh, okay. I like that. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, that's enough for case. Okay. Ahead and go into cast mode with you guys because there's also this new option to give your Sims winter and summer clothes. As I'm sure you're all aware because yes, I know I am like the latest person to serve a Let's Play of Seasons. You've seen everyone, you've seen the best people, you've seen the biggest Simmers. Auntie Nana is coming, the one that nobody cares about. Sure, anyway, here's Cassie. Isn't she? She's so pretty. And if I had to describe her style, I would say it's lazy style. She, ooh, God. Uh, yeah, mm, no. Let's see. Okay, so Cassie's definitely, like I said, a very relaxed person. Someone who doesn't really bother much with style. I think that she does at times, but... Um, oh, that's cute. I like the little leaves. Uh, what about the heart? No, I think... Um, no, 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 no. Maybe no earrings? Yeah, I think no earrings might be better. I don't want sunglasses either. I don't I don't see Cassie as a type for sunglasses. Oh, ouch. Oh. Mm, I, I take that back. Oh, <laughs> I take that back. Yeah, shite. Oh, shite. Oh, she look Okay, this is it. This is the one. Now, uh, let's go. I don't want to do like a full overview or anything because I think it's kind of boring. We've all seen what's in it. But let's uh, find something that I think she would wear for... What's around your neck? Is that a necklace or does that belong hold? Does that... I think that com no, I think oh no, it comes okay. There we go. Cause I I don't really like necklaces on her. I don't think Cassie's a necklace person at all, honestly. Um. Ooh. I love my shoes. Oh, uh, I love these. Okay, and now for winter outfit, cause we can't have her looking like this. I think there must be a better thing to. Ooh, okay, so there's this option. Oh, she looks cute. I love this. It's actually really nice. It, looks so, it actually looks really soft. Like, it looks like it if you just touch it. Like, you know what I mean? You can just imagine how it feels like when you look at it. Um, I really do like this. So all I need is to give her some boots. So I, I'm thinking maybe... No, 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 no. I mean... I don't actually you know what I'm gonna wear heels in the snow I don't care what my mama says okay I think walking around in heels is the most practical in the snow so I'm gonna go for this outfit I think that is just what can we do multiple oh yeah perfect okay let's make her an outfit that's actually wearable indoors so might be saying oh but that's so cold like why would you why would you wear slippers in the winter Honestly, I'm the type of person that's always cold, but I would still wear shorts and slippers in the winter even if I'm freezing to death. At least it burns calories. Kirk knows what's good. Cassie knows what's good. Let's turn off our... Turn off... Where the heck are you going? Oh, she's going down... Oh, wait, hold on. Where are you? Oh, she's back up. Oh, no, she's back up. Girl, if you're going outside, you better wear something else. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have her dry the laundry. Why don't we just put some laundry in? Like I said, she loves clean Lina's. She loves clean Lina's and being clean and um, she knows exactly what I was on. I told you, you can wear this in house girl and look, she's wearing it. Let's turn, uh, turn on. Let's turn on ourselves. Ooh. Let's put on our winter clothes. Lina's going downstairs. What's wrong with her? What? Wait, is she in? Where is she? Oh my god, I thought she was in the dryer. <laughs> I was like, what? Alright, um, I'm gonna go uh, downstairs. Uh, is this where... I'm always forget. I love the little breathing animation. Like, I love the little hot air that you're breathing out. Not over here. I guess uh, in the no discount. Okay, I guess she's... I know. Cassie and I think the same. I swear to you. Cassie and I think the absolute same. I was just about to click on this when she's just doing it herself. Browsing the stalls. I wonder if there's like some produce we can buy. I definitely want to buy some produce, some some fresh fruits and, and veggies. Like I don't come out of, you know, my house very much. So I get, ooh, okay. I see there's some new stuff. Wasabi. I don't know if that's new or not. Wex. I think it is. Ice by Ice Mun Mun. Okay. Strawberry. 
plantain, lemon, uh, cherries. Ooh, okay, let's get some of that. I was very often, so I think it's important for us that if we do go to Thai, we do get some, you know, some groceries, some, uh, some, some, uh, <laughs> This guy, a 20 simoleons tip. I absolutely love watching people perform. It's like one of my favorite things. And I know what it's like to start at the bottom. We actually have a couple records. And uh, I wish I had my guitar with me so I could perform. But I don't, unfortunately. Cassie's giving a perf- Oh my god. Girl, I tell you, Cassie knows exactly what I'm thinking. Like, she's performing, she's singing, she's... Oh my god, Cassie, you're... Cassie, you're, you're too much. I'm gonna go ahead and, um... Why don't you just make a snow angel? Girl, I know, it's Omar, it's 1am. Cassie earned a 96 while home. Sick. Girl, a word. Yeah, we're so sick. Look at that. Oh my god, it's so cute. I definitely feel like coming outside was a good idea. It stopped snowing. It looks absolutely pretty. looks so pretty. Um, let's see. It's day 7 of 28. It's cloudy, cold, and cloudy. Oh my god. The snow feels so nice under our warm skin. Let's be put this. Get some food. Just, you know, just a little something. Um, it's nice to see her eat a little better. She definitely got a little too skinny for my likings. But I think that um, it also has to do with the fact that she's been working out like a girl. <laughs> she's been working out like crazy and not taking care of herself as much as she should. And um, I think that um, having being really fed once and now being just like the opposite spectrum, I think that, um, you know, once she kind of finds herself, she'll kind of fill up the curves again. It's nothing to be alarmed about, but it's nice to see her finally eat a little bit and take a little better care of herself. Like, uh, at least one of the benefits of staying out, like getting out of bed so late, is that it's 2 a.m. and we're fine. We're not even tired. And this girl next to me it looks a lot like, oh, it is Isabel. Isabel, uh, if you remember from our last gameplay, she was like the most famous, uh, the famous, most famous girl ever. And she's kind of like our rival. I'm gonna send Cassie over to bed and what the heck was that? Okay, weird. Okay, um. Okay, so it looks like the only decorations that Cassie really had in her little box was this kind of. I don't know what to call it. It's, um. I know it's an ornament. It just looks like two wizards had on a piece of paper, <laughs> honestly. But it kind of. It's not really. Okay, there we go. Yeah. I, it's f I think it's floating. I'm not sure, but I yeah, it looks like it's floating. Uh, yeah, I don't. It's not clipping. Okay, whatever. It's not clipping very well. <laughs> just, just, just forget about it. Clipping one, ornaments one. Nobody needs that. Cassie really hasn't slept a lot, but we'll just have to deal with that. Let's go ahead and oh, but Betty's sleeping. Let's just have her sleep uh, in a little bit and uh put her laundry away so winter fast winter holidays excuse me has officially started and it looks like cassie loves decorating and <laughs> it's from being neat the perfect bit of color and decor can really set the stage for any holiday to participate play the hop plate place the holiday decorations from build mode and decorate okay so um i hope this is not going to lag too much because i really cannot be bothered with this i think that cassie realizes that staying inside the festive spirits being outside and participating just like everyone else is really the one thing that kind of feels her more alive and at this point why would i you know not participate in christmas and all that like why would i not decorate my house like any other person would um Okay, so this one you can add decorations. This one, not. So, I'm gonna get this one now. It's a little crowded in here, so I'm going to have to move the table. But I'll just have to deal with it. I do have some presents for, um, I wouldn't say my cousins. It's like, well, I guess they're kind of like my cousins. You know, it's the children of my best friends. I guess they're like my nieces, my nieces and nephews. I guess that's that's the right term for it. So I have some presents for them that I really, oh, okay, okay, add present, what happens when we add another present, because I know Cassie probably has so much presents for them, like, you don't even know, like, how many, 
oh my gosh wait add more presents <laughs> there's no end to it add more presents oh my gosh uh for sure like cassie has a big heart for the kids like she loves them she absolutely loves them and i don't know how much presents we can do i think this is enough presents cassie i think that's enough presents why don't you just like just just sneak a present okay that's that's funny anyway why don't we go oh okay wait why don't we oh we can oh i uh, oh uh, e, uh, oh oh <laughs> Oh my god, am I three? Mentally, I'm three. It's brutal. I put up the tree, um, and I don't think I'm in the mood to decorate it right now. Like, I don't know. I think Cassie might have OCD or something. Like, this compulsive cleaning. Was there, like, a, a disorder where, like, compulsive cleaners? Like, OCC? Obsessive compulsive cleaners? I'm not exactly if that's the term or not. But it kind of feels like a, what you call it? Like a TLC documentary or something but just the way that she's constantly cleaning i feel like she's become obsessed about her house and about being neat i don't know what it is i don't know why all of a sudden but she's just obsessed about being clean and it's just preventing her from doing anything like she's put the presents down and i wanted her to decorate the tree and she was like no grumpy no it's too dirty it's too, my house is too dirty i can't deal with it Looks like everything is a little better by now, but I'm going to decorate the tree maybe maybe sometime later. I don't really feel like it right now. It's just not in for me. But what I do want to do is sell my plants, get some money in, and perhaps tend the garden. As I do want to go ahead and um, seem to finish this aspiration as well. You guys might be wondering, like, why is she not in the new planting career or whatever? Honestly, I'm going to tell you guys, I don't want her to be in that career because everyone is doing it. And singing is just such a big part of her life. Like, why would I take that away and make her something else that she's not just for the sake of seasons? You know, you know, seasons is out. It's fine. It doesn't mean that I have to do everything related to seasons. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to have her just continue her song and my time at home. This is where I am all the time. Like 90% of the time, I'm just at home until I go to work and then come back home and sleep and so on, so on. So I don't really think there is much in Cassie's life right now that I could show you. I think I'll be back when she's doing a little work. Oh, it looks like Betty wants some attention. Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do that real quick. Anyway, uh, I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to end this part here. First parts, right? First parts. I want to thank you guys so much for watching my video. Leave a comment or whatever. Just don't leave. Just go, go back, go to sleep. Just eat your dinner, go to sleep. Forget about me. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys oh i forgot i could move bye